Hi there, Mark Jones here from the Yaslings Golf Academy and today we're going to look at trying to hit that dream draw and get away from hitting that shocking slice. What we're going to look at mainly is the lead wrist position and, and if we're able to control this lead wrist position during your downward transition into the golf ball, what effect that can have on the ball flight. Now, what we tend to see from a lot of players is when they swing the club to the top here, the left wrist gets into a cupped position here. Now, when you swing the club down, if you keep that wrist in a cupped position or cup it even more, that club tends to get in front of you, outside of the line, and the face now is open. If you carry on swinging on that path, the face will be open to your path and you will hit that slice. Now, it also will be quite a steep angle into the ball, so that's where we can suffer with striking inconsistencies. Now what I want you to do is I want you to feel the opposite. I want you to feel that when you get to the top of your backswing, that the lead wrist here matches your forearm and then in your downward transition, I want you to feel that you feel that it bows just a tiny bit. So instead of the wrist being this way, you're going to bow it that way, only a little bit. I don't want you going too much, just a little bit of a bowing action here. And if you do that, I've got a cane on the ground so it measures where the club's dropping down. You will notice, you get a bit of a, a double take for this, that one, the face will come down much squarer, maybe even get a little bit close to the path. And you can see how also the club now drops behind you on a little more of an into-out path. It's a bit shallower. And from there, you turn into the golf ball and that face is a lot squarer. From here, you can really see how you can hit those dream draws. Thanks for watching.